No woman should die whilst giving life. And every child born should live until they fulfill their full potential. So I'm discussing future challenges and opportunities for maternal and newborn health care. When we look into the next 20 years and beyond, there are changes that are taking place and should be looked into seriously. I want to start by talking about the double disease burden. In maternal and newborn health care, what we see now is that even countries where there was focus on just communicable diseases, there's an increase in non-communicable diseases. So for example, a country like Malawi, we have to look at both aspects of disease, non-communicable diseases and communicable diseases. And this places a lot of pressure on the healthcare system. I also want to look at the issue of transformation that is going to take place and is already taking place. And this transformation is in the areas of social, political, environment, and even demographic aspects of changes. Each country, each member country, each member state has changes that are taking place. And these changes need to be looked into as we address issues of maternal and newborn health care. I also want to look at healthcare systems. With these changes, every healthcare system must respond to the changing context. So we cannot address issues the way we used to address them 40 years ago, 20 years ago. Because if there's a change in the social context, then it means the healthcare system has to address that change. So the healthcare systems must actually respond to every change that is taking place in the next 20 years. I also want to look at the issue of um, development assistance. So donors are going to reduce and they keep reducing their assistance to member countries, which means that every member country should find ways of raising domestic revenue through taxation, through levies, but domestic revenue actually should be used. There should be more resources from domestic revenue uh, that are used for maternal and newborn health care, which means that when members of parliament meet to budget, to discuss budget, the local revenue from each country, from member countries, should actually be more than what is being provided for at the moment. Another change that we see in the coming 20 or more years is rapid urbanization. Now, although people are moving into cities and towns, we find that in many countries, quality of care is improving. However, not every woman gets that quality of care. There are still differences within countries, even within regions. So we find that within a region, one country may provide better care, but within that same region, you find women that are not getting better uh, quality of care. Therefore, we may need to do more research so that we can improve quality of care even with a rapid urbanization. I also want to address another issue, is the issue of uh, behavioral economics. A lot of changes are happening, and particularly in areas of innovation, technology innovation. Even in countries, low resource uh, setting countries, you will find that in a rural area, a woman would have a cell phone. Can we use this technology to improve maternal and newborn health care? And I do know that there will be more innovations. And in 20 years' time, we may not even see any papers being used in any facility because perhaps every facility has got some technology there. ICT is really moving at a fast rate. But we should use that opportunity to actually improve maternal and newborn health care. So we have opportunities. And of course, finally, universal health coverage is a platform that can actually help countries to provide comprehensive maternal and newborn health care. And actually making sure that all aspects of care, including HIV and AIDS, you know, are taken into consideration when you actually put up you know, a, a package for every woman and for every newborn and even every child. Every country that is serious on universal health coverage will actually make strides, will make actually there will be, I think, a greater dividend that is going to be achieved if there's emphasis and there's provision of services for universal health coverage. And this is truly 
looking into the future, next 20 years, next 50 years, and even further than that. Thank you very much.